Chapter 1 The Living World Adaptations and Classification Let's recall In what different ways is the diversity in living things seen? The diversity in living things can be seen on basis of their shapes, size, habitat, etc. A great variety of plants is found on the earth. Some plants have colourful flowers. Some plants grow in water, whereas some are to be found in deserts, which have a scarcity of water. Some plants are found only in snowy regions. Some plants cannot be seen without a microscope, whereas some are huge in size. Like plants, animals too show diversity. Some are unicellular, others multicellular. Some are vertebrates, whereas others are invertebrates. Vertebrates means animals having backbone. Invertebrates means animals not having backbone. This world is full of a variety of animals, aquatic, terrestrial, amphibian, reptilian, aerial, etc. These observations give rise to the question, how did this great diversity come into being? Can you tell? Are the plants and animals from Kashmir and Rajasthan of the same type? No, they are not of the same type. Can you elaborate on any differences between the two? Let's do that. 1. Animals in Kashmir All the animals living in cold regions have long and thick fur on their body in order to protect them from severe cold. For example, yak and bear. 2. Animals in Rajasthan In desert regions, there is scarcity of water. Hence, to prevent the loss of water from the body, the animals of these regions have thick skin, long legs, large, wide feet, closed nostrils, long and thick eyelashes, etc. For example, camel. 3. Plants in Kashmir They are conical shaped due to which the snow does not remain accumulated on branches. They have thick bark to withstand the cold. For example, pine, fir, spruce, deodar, etc. 4. Plants in Rajasthan These plants do not bear leaves. Instead, they are reduced to needle-shaped or are modified into thorns. The stem is fleshy and green to carry out photosynthesis. It has waxy coating on its surface. All these modifications in their body structure prevents the loss of water through transpiration. The roots of these plants go deep into the soil in search of water. For example, cactus, babool tree. Adaptation Gradual changes occur in the body parts and also in the behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to their surroundings. Such changes are called adaptations. They take place over a long period of time. Adaptation in plants. Observe and complete the chart. Include other plants from your own region too. We have plants, their habitats, types of root, Characteristics of leaves and characteristics of stem. Lotus, its habitat is aquatic. Type of root is fibrous. It has large and round leaves with waxy layer. Stem is hollow and flexible. Cactus, the habitat of cactus is desert. It has taproot. 
leaves are modified into thorns and the stem is green and fleshy. Banyan The habitat of banyan is terrestrial. Root is taproot. Leaf has waxy coating on its surface. Stem provides support. Adaptation in aquatic plants. Visit various water bodies such as a river, brook, pond, lake in your surroundings. What differences do you observe between terrestrial and aquatic plants? Some of the aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil at the bottom of the water bodies. Their stems are submerged while leaves and flowers float on the surface. However, some plants are entirely afloat. Their roots are not anchored in the soil. Anchor means to penetrate. The surfaces of leaves and stems of many aquatic plants are covered with a waxy layer. Leaves of some aquatic plants are thin and slender like a ribbon. This shape helps them to withstand fast currents of water. Air spaces in stems and petioles of aquatic plants are useful for floating in water. Use your brain power. 1. Why does water trickle off lotus leaves? Answer. The surfaces of lotus leaves are covered with a waxy layer. Hence, the water trickles off its leaves. 2. Why don't the leaves of these plants rot in water? Answer. As the surface of leaves of aquatic plants have waxy coating, these plants do not rot in water. 3. Why are their roots short and fibrous? Answer. Many plants growing in aquatic habitats do not possess roots because there is little requirement for absorption of water and mineral salts. But few other aquatic plants develop short and fibrous roots only for balancing and fixation. Adaptation in Desert Plants Take two potted plants, one a cactus and the other a leafy plant. Tie plastic bags loosely around the leaves of these plants and keep them in sunlight from early in the morning. In the afternoon, bring those pots into the classroom and observe them. Has the same quantity of water collected in both bags? No, both the bags do not show same quantity of water. Desert plants are either leafless or their leaves are like small needles or have been modified into thorns. As a result, those lose very little water by evaporation. The stem stores water and food and is therefore fleshy. The stems are green as they perform photosynthesis in the absence of leaves. These roots penetrate deep into the soil in search of water. There is a thick layer of a waxy substance on the stems of these plants too. Adaptation in plants of snowy regions. Can you tell? In what way are sloping branches useful to plants in a snowy region? Plants of snowy regions mainly include conifers like the odar and pine. These trees are conical in shape due to their sloping branches. In the heavy snowfall and extreme cold in these regions, their conical shape prevents the snow from accumulating on the tree and the thick bark helps the tree to withstand the cold. Adaptation in plants of forest regions A variety of plants, trees, shrubs and herbs are found in forests. These plants compete amongst themselves for sunlight. Hence, trees grow tall to get sunlight and climbers and vines grow to a great height 
with the support of trees. Spring-like tendrils on the stems of some climbers is an example of adaptation. Adaptation in grassland plants. Diverse types of bushes and grasses are found in the grasslands. Fibrous roots of grasses prevent soil erosion. Grasses in the equatorial region are very tall. Animals like tiger, elephants and deer can remain hidden in these grasses. However, grasses in cold regions are very short. Animals like the rabbit are found in such grasses. Vast meadows are found in hilly areas as well as plains. Meadows means piece of grassland. Observe and discuss. Observe and note down the adaptations in the parts of plants like potato, groundnut, yam, water hyacinth, aloe, acacia, carrot, onion, beet, bitter gourd, grapevine, etc. and other plants in your surroundings. Plant and their adaptations. Here's a table showing plants and their adaptation. 1. Potato, yam and onions. Adaptations are modified stem to store food. 2. Ground nut. Adaptation, underground fruit. 3. Water hyacinth. Adaptation, hollow cavities in stem for floating in water. 4. Carrot and beet. Adaptation, Modified root to store food. 5. Bitter gourd, grape vine. Adaptation. Modified stem for support. 6. Aloe, acacia. Adaptation. Leaves modified into thorns to reduce loss of water. Adaptation for ingestion of food in plants. Most of the plants are anchored in the ground and are autotrophic. However, plants like dodder, that is cascuta, are parasitic. The plant body of dodder consists of yellow, wire-like stems. It is leafless and cannot perform photosynthesis. However, it has hostorial, that is sucking roots, for absorbing nutrients from the host plant. These roots penetrate up to the conducting vessels of the host plant to absorb water and food. Fungi do not have chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis. They absorb food from starchy foodstuffs like bhakri and bread. They have root-like fibers for absorption of food. Plants need nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for growth. Plants that grow in soil which is deficient in nitrogen, like Drosera, that is sundew, Venus flytrap, pitcher plant, etc., fulfill their need for nitrogen by consuming insects. Adaptations are seen in these plants which serve to attract insects and hold them captive. My friend, the Internet. Collect information about plant adaptations from websites like www dot mbgnet dot net adaptation in animals make a list of animals in your surroundings compare the diversity of animals listed by your friends with your list discuss the habitats food habits characteristics of body structures like vertebral column wings gills tails, etc. and prepare a chart. What differences do you see between terrestrial and aquatic animals? As compared to terrestrial animals, the skin and body shape of aquatic animals appear to have undergone changes. Fishes have scales on the skin and fins on the body. Their body tapers towards both its ends like a spindle. 
fish breathe with gills instead of a nose. Their eyes have transparent eyelids. They have air bladders within the body to help them to float. Adaptation in amphibian animal. As the frog and duck have webbed toes, they can use their legs like oars. Water flows off the waxy feathers of birds like duck and water hen. Webbed toes, slippery smooth skin and a triangular head helps frogs to swim easily through water. They can live on land as well as in water due to their ability to breathe through the skin in water and using the nose and lungs on land. The typical colours on a frog's back help it to hide among grasses. Make a list of the names of some other amphibians you know and study their adaptations. Adaptation in forest and grassland animals Carnivorous animals like the wild dog, fox, tiger and lion have strong legs to run fast and capture their prey. They have claws and their canine teeth are sharp and pointed. What is the function of such teeth? Such teeth are used to cut flesh of animals. Tigers have padded paws. This enables them to silently stalk their prey and capture it easily. The eyes of predatory carnivores are located in the front of their head. It helps them to spot their prey from a long distance. The eyes of herbivores are below the forehead on either side of the head. This gives them wide-angle vision which helps to protect them from predators. Their legs are long and tapering with strong hooves which enables them to run fast taking long leaps. Their long and freely moving ears can receive sounds from long distances and different directions. Deer and black bucks have colours that merge with their surroundings. Their teeth are strong for chewing tough plant material. Adaptation in Desert Animals Deserts are characterized by severe scarcity of water. Hence, desert animals have a thick skin to prevent loss of water from the body. Their legs are long with flat and cushioned soles. The nostrils are protected by folds of skin. The eyelashes are long and thick. Rats, snakes, spiders, Lizards in deserts live in deep burrows during daytime and are active at night.